What a girl, dude. Go faster, Go faster, Ben. Thanks, Frito. That was my friend Frito commenting on my driving performance at the Oregon Rally Group Silence of the Cones Rally Cross in 2002. He'd lead you to believe that I was driving pretty poorly, to say the least, but uh, I, I did want to point something out, and that is that there were 134 people, as you can see, at this event, and I placed somewhere up here, but you know, I mean, this is. <laughs> It's not important. But yeah, those were for my Subaru days, and uh, I've, I've gone through different phases in my life, different project cars. Uh, the MR2 has been my primary project car since, uh, I think, 2004. So how this ties into the floating license plate bracket is I got a ticket in my MR2 for not having a front plate because, well, car guys hate front plates for a myriad of reasons, but that's a, maybe a different video I can do. I got the idea after I got a ticket and realized I want a front plate, but I don't want it to look terrible, or I want to make it look less terrible. Does that make sense? You understand. I was going through a parts bin and I found a Subaru air cleaner stay. What this part was, was a uh, piece that was removed when I installed a cold air intake on that 2.5 RS way back in the day. This justifies years of hoarding for me. Anyway, this piece I noticed fits perfectly in the fog light bracket. And here's actually some video of what it looks like now when it's completed. And you can see the, the way it attaches is, uh, well, I guess that's something I, I need to mention. You, you can't use this bracket if you've got factory fog lights. Sorry about that. I like not having them. So this will be good for a lot of NA cars that never had the fog lights. Some turbo cars didn't have them too. So anyway, I noticed that this bracket fits perfectly in the right side of the left bracket here. All right, so the, the stuff I used was one bracket, link in description, one M5 15 millimeter bolt. On the other side, you're gonna use a, like just a 10 millimeter bolt that's in like every import you'll probably have lying around, hopefully. A plastic putty knife or some <laughs> plastic to give support to the, the license plate. You're gonna need some lock washers to hold that sucker in place. You would assume by looking at this that it's gonna bend when you're go at, you know, at high speeds, which isn't the case, or that it's going to sag over time, and I'm shocked that it actually doesn't, even with rough, pretty rough driving. So I'm not actually gonna show you how to put this together because it's pretty straightforward, but it will help to have a long screwdriver to reach into the bumper there. Other than that, I think you're gonna find that it's a cinch to set up, it's cheap. I think the bracket's gonna be a few bucks and part the rest of the parts you probably have lying around the garage. Hope that's helpful. Hope you find it interesting and unique. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, hey, and if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Appreciate it, guys. We'll see you next time. We're keeping it tidy through there. The more boring it looks, the faster it often is. And that's, well, very boring indeed through there.